Hello farm friends and Merry Christmas. We are going to do something we do every year. We do a live nativity. Some years we've done it at the park. Other times we've done it at churches or at our friend's barn. We've done some at our barn before, but this year we're gonna do something that we've never done before. A drive-by live nativity. But before we do that, we have some friends here from Hume's Little Homestead. Go check them out on YouTube. Subscribe to their channel. They're an awesome little family and we ask if they would want to be part of our nativity. So we're gonna do a little live nativity with them. There you go, there's Salt. She's glowing in the sunlight there. It's the nicest day we've had in a long time. It's been beautiful today, probably up to 50 degrees maybe. And, but it's cooling off as the sun's starting to go down, but most of the country's freezing to death right now. So our prayers are with you. We hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. We believe that the greatest gift that was ever given was the gift that God gave of his son to each of us. And uh, we're gonna celebrate. You heard Jack down there making some noise. Anyway, so we're gonna act out this little nativity with the Humes Little Homestead, and then we're gonna take you along as we do our first annual, maybe. I don't know if we'll do this in the future, but we're excited and we'll tell you more about what we're doing with a live nativity or a live drive-by nativity. We'll tell you more about our idea and show that to you after we act out this little nativity. It'll be fun. Ready for everyone to come check you out tonight? It's gonna be fun. The sun's setting. See our Christmas lights that we put down the arena. It's gonna be a fun night. Can't wait. Look at these good looking kids from Hume's Little Homestead. Hi. You guys look amazing. <laughs> Do you wanna tell them your name? Anna. Anna the Angel. <laughs> Mary. But her, what's your actual <laughs> name? Bailey. Awesome. Levi, are you Joseph I'm tonight? <laughs> pretend that we're filming at I'm home, Kaden. buddy. And Caden, the shepherd. Yeah. Awesome. And Ryan, he's going to be our innkeeper. Yep. And Katie's going to be mom. And she's going to help us make all this work. Vicky's getting the hot chocolate ready. And Casey's not feeling well. But Blake will be down in a little bit, and my married son and his wife and my grandson. My daughter-in-law is about to have her baby, so we thought maybe we'd have a live baby Jesus tonight. No, just kidding. But we're like, uh, if you guys hurry. No, just kidding. Next year. All right, we about ready for this? Awesome. It came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, and to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child.
And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring unto you good tidings of great joy, which shall be unto all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Wasn't that fun? Now let me show you what we're thinking of for the live nativity, the drive-by live nativity. Anyway, super fun. I'm carrying this box that we got from one of you from... Austria, I think. Anyway, came with some awesome cookies in it. Second year in a row. We're going to use this as one of the boxes for the wise men. But let me show you what we're thinking. It's going to be fun. First of all, Blake decorated his truck. He put the red, white, and blue Christmas tree that he got years ago, and he just thinks it's the coolest thing. So when people see his truck, they'll know that they're at the place. Also, they'll see our nativity that we have in our front yard which uh, a friend of ours made and we love it anyway really cool so when people get here they will drive down to the barn and then we will have the live nativity so the cool thing is Blake had this cool idea so Blake what happens when they tune in to 104.9 here on the farm. Well, when they turn into 104.9, it is going to be playing Christmas music. So the whole ride down and back, they'll be able to listen to Christmas music. Awesome. So they'll be able to listen to Christmas music on, on the channel. There's, hey, everybody. Merry Christmas. I got Vicky a, a, new, a early yes. gift. I got her jacket embroidered with the farm under 366. Like and subscribe. <laughs> So, so fun. And make sure you go subscribe to Hume's Little Homestead. Hi. <laughs> we are so excited tonight. So let me show you how it's gonna go. So once they turn down our lane here, they'll turn their radios to the station. They'll listen to some beautiful Christmas music and they'll drive down to the barn where the Hume's Little Homestead kids are going to be placed and ready and looking cute for the live nativity. It's gonna be so fun. Oh, and along the way, they'll stop for some hot chocolate. Let me show you. So they'll continue driving down the lane. I'm following after the kids from Hume's Little Homestead and their awesome dad that's a trooper to play along with us here. So right here, as they drive by, look at all that. 15 gallons of hot chocolate and a ton of cups and they'll grab some hot chocolate and they'll keep dr driving down here and they'll follow the lights and it'll take them to the star that we set up this morning and I hope it's working we got to go see what's going on so let's go check it out so <laughs> Salt. Excited. Look at this. <laughs> you ready to get the show on the road? <laughs> and this little guy, we've decided to call him Soldier. So we got our little goat running around loose. And is that not working? Maybe we tripped a breaker. We'll check it out. So the star is lit. The goat got loose. 
The donkeys are tied up. We'll put the kids in position here in a little bit and we are ready to go. And uh, the sun's set. It'll be dark here in a few minutes. So anyway, we'll take you along. We're excited for what might be our first annual drive-by live nativity. We'll see how it goes tonight. So why are you guys gathered around the fire? Is it getting a little cold? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Well, you guys look so good. This is our angel crying over there from smoking rice. <laughs> this gonna be such a special moment. That's right. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. So we got a fire barrel there. People drive around. It's gonna be super fun. Can't wait. Well, I think we're ready to go now. We just hope people show up, but I think they will. It'll be awesome. So Merry Christmas, and we'll take you along for some of this. And uh, God bless. Oh, there it was so cool earlier when Blake was helping me put up that that star. He jumped from from this building to this one, and I caught a picture in the air. It looks really cool. Let me show you. Well, our first person is showing up. We're so excited. These kids are excited. Oh, it's Blake. <laughs> we were all excited. We're not excited anymore. Aww. Just kidding. What are you doing down here? We're making sure the radio works. Does it work? Oh, yeah. It's your baby boy. Perfect. So they just put it to 104.9 and they hear it, right? Yep. Awesome. Works great. This is awesome. We're excited. This is really the reason why we have Christmas. So, all right. So now we have a real person and a goat running loose and the kids are excited, but people are stopping to get their hot chocolate. We're super excited about this. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed coming along and I'll take you up and get you some hot chocolate in a minute. At least you can imagine you're getting some hot chocolate. You kids having fun? Yeah. Look at that angel. Okay. Every time I talk, she just spreads her wings. It's so pretty. It's coming. Awesome. It's coming. This innkeeper is amazing. He hasn't let anyone in the end. He's doing really good. <laughs> Thanks for coming. How's the hot chocolate? Does the music work? Awesome. There you go. Blast out the music. Here we go. <laughs> Good night. Merry Christmas. See ya. Blake had the idea to have people tune into a radio station. I didn't know you could rig that up but pretty cool so katie put on her wise man costume and the goats eating her costume and the innkeeper's flirting with the wise man i don't even know what's going on here they're having fun though are you guys having fun so this is our hot st chocolate station how's it going here guys good good you want some hot chocolate oh that looks Merry amazing Christmas. Hey Cameron, I want to see you, buddy. See my grandson. Oh, you look awesome. Are what you are a you? shepherd? A You're a costume? What costume is it? Is it a shepherd? Shepherd, someone's here for hot chocolate. You want to stop him? We've got hot chocolate for you. Well, what do you think, guys? Has it been this fun? Cool. This is cool. It is. Jarrett, thanks for coming and helping. Yeah, wasn't doing anything else. Merry Christmas! So anyway. Awesome. We have people pulling up all over the place. This is awesome. I can see a fire over there. 
So how many have we done so far? I don't know. <laughs> Probably uh Look at this guys, I think it's a success. <laughs> it's a traffic jam, it's been so fun tonight. Anyway, thanks for coming along and Merry Christmas. So, those of us in hot chocolate mode or keep them warm here. Is that Jocelyn? Cameron. Cameron, turn around. Hey, <laughs> Grandpa wants to say hi. Can you say Merry Christmas, everybody? Merry Christmas. Hey, Thank hey, you. come here, wait. What are you getting for Christmas? A baby sister. A baby, a baby sister? sister? What's her name? Anna. Anna? Are you going to be a good big brother? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well, thanks to Hume's Little Homestead. Have you guys had fun tonight? Oh, yeah. All right, do you want to wish everyone Merry Christmas? Like Blake's truck or what? I do. <laughs> hey, you gotta go down by the nativity.